and strategy consultant Graham Cordington says countries should learn from South Africa's scientists. He says we shouldn't be punished for being transparent about our research and our findings. Here in South Africa, we have remarkable uh, epidemiology. We have a lot of people who've spent their lives studying infectious diseases because of HIV and TB and sadly some of the other diseases we, we deal with every day, every year here in South Africa. But that puts us at the forefront of science globally. And I think other countries might have similar uh, capabilities, but they maybe keep that information to themselves. I think we as South Africans know that the best thing to do with public health is to make everything open, be very transparent, explain everything to everybody. And as you say, uh, now again, uh, not only a few months ago, but now again, uh, because we've done that, the rest of the world tends to think that this particular new variant comes from South Africa rather than just being discovered in South Africa. And as far as we can tell, this one's a, a pretty serious variant. Uh, we don't know yet exactly what this variant will do. Uh, it looks like it's probably more infectious, but we're not entirely clear yet. Uh, it looks like it, it might be able to bypass at least some of the vaccination protocols. Not all of them. Uh, that's the, the good news, early good news now, but we don't know. There might be a maybe an increase in, in the curfew, maybe just a restriction on some hours of trade, maybe for alcohol. But I don't think we'll go into a full lockdown yet. Uh, I don't think that the numbers of infections are there, and it'll give us a few more days. With this particular variant, I think a few days will make all the difference as we, as we watch it, as we give time to the scientists to understand it uh, more.